Hello everyone, welcome to Crafty Art, the channel for art and craft and everything in between. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how I file my paper documents. Now I have recently upgraded my filing system. I used to have one of those accordion style fold out expandable folder with all the preset categories in alphabetical order. Now when I first got that filing system I was really excited to use that and everything was working for the first couple of years. Then everything started to become way out of control. Things were not fitting in, papers were in the wrong category, the sides were splitting because the whole folder was bulging, there wasn't enough room and I think that sort of system would work more for someone who does not have that much paperwork. For me, that was not the case. I needed a lot more categories, I needed a lot more room, and I needed something that was easier to access. I did do quite a lot of research to find different ways of filing and looking at the pros and cons of each way. I also needed to take into consideration that I do move around and move house quite a bit, so the fact that it can be portable was a huge factor for me as well. So today, I'm going to show you my new upgraded system. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing, Pinterest worthy, pretty kind of system, but it is practical. And practicality was the main goal that I was going for here. So without further ado, let's get into this video and I will show you my new way of filing my paper documents. So this is the filing system that I have chosen to use. It's called the Creation Plastics File, Store and Stack. It's actually a container, it has a lid, it works like a regular plastic container that you would store things in. And the big reason why I have chosen this system is because it's portable, you can stack other containers like this one on top of it, and you can also store files inside. And I know there are different styles and sizes of these containers. There are more narrow ones and there's ones that don't hold the fool's cap, so they hold just a normal A4 size document uh, file inside. But this particular one holds the fool's cap size, which is the size that I would like to use for my filing system. These also come in white, black, and clear. Now, because my previous filing system was the accordion style expandable folder, I didn't actually have any of the suspendable files. So when I went to get the container, I got some of the fool's cap suspension files. And they are the JR Burroughs brand in the assorted colors and has 25 files included, which was the perfect amount for me. I didn't care too much about the colors. It was mainly about having my own categories and just sorting out my documents. And each file can hold up to 150 sheets. Now this set that I purchased also came with the tabs and inserts. So there was no need to go out and buy a separate pack of tabs because it already came with them. Now with the files, I broke them up into a color order just so that they weren't all clumped together. So I had red, blue, yellow, purple, green, and then just continued that pattern through until I used up all of the files. Next, I chose what categories I wanted. I wrote them out on a piece of paper to make sure none of them overlapped or were the same thing, and to get an idea of how many files I would actually be using. I also completely sorted through my old filing system to see what new categories I needed to add. You can also see at the back that there are two extra files that I hadn't used yet. I left those ones in there just in case I needed to add any additional files in the future. So you can see I have automobile, which is my car, banking, my pets, tiger and bear, insurance, bills, rent, medical, dental, work, superannuation, ID, certificates, tax, past tax, travel, memberships, receipts, warranties, correspondence, miscellaneous, education, work, manuals, and then two extras at the back. I haven't included subcategories at this time, but I may want to in the future. And I like how these files give you the option to write down what categories you have inside of that file on the front. Then you can use sticky notes or something like a manila folder to show exactly where those categories are on the inside. For example, different types of insurance. I like this system because as soon as you take the lid off, you can see everything in one go and I'm now not dealing with a flimsy folder that opens and closes when you're trying to look for files. And it's really easy to just grab a file, lift it out and deal with whatever you need to deal with inside, add anything in, refer to anything and then just place it straight back in where it came from and you're done. The lid just clips on like a normal storage container and you can lift it up and store it wherever you need to store it. 
To add the categories into the tabs, I used my Dymo label maker along with the inserts that came with the files. I printed out the name of each category. Then I used the inserts that came with the pack, flipped each one over and stuck the label on. That way each tab size is the same length and fit into the clear tabs nicely. That is my new and improved paper filing storage system and I hope that has helped some of you figure out how you would like to store your paper file. Make sure you subscribe to this channel Crafty Art to stay tuned for any new videos coming up in the very near future.